Okay, so on this vlog, I want to show you some of the wonders of God. I know some of you might want to say the wonders of nature. Same country, different weather. Enjoy. Let's just dive into this vlog, okay? Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, happy Monday, happy new week and um, I hope you have a fruitful week, okay? I hope every goal you set for this week come true. Alright, so right now I am at the port of Kolibari in Crete, okay? Crete Island, this is the port of Kolibari, okay? It's a massive port and uh, they just did their, they just expanded the port. This one is bigger than the other one. I have not brought you people to this spot, but I've showed you people Kolibari before. And I promise you people, if you've not watched that vlog, then please watch my vlog so you can catch up. Fun stuff for sure. So yeah, I've actually showed you people Kolibari before and I promised I was going to bring you people to the port whenever I have the opportunity to. So right now we are off to get something close to the port and I decided to just stop by and film this video, okay? So like I said before, if you've not seen my island vlogs, then please do well to catch up. You can see some of the fishermen over there. Here's a big boat, that's another one. And then I, I showed you people a vlog about uh, Tavana Malame. Here he is. This is the owner of Tavana Malame. And um, over there you can see other boats and other fishermen. Okay? Alright, so... Oh, the wind, my eyes. Let me quickly walk back and uh, show you. point I'm going to flip the camera over and okay let me turn there's something I want to show you people right behind me, right behind me up there let me see hold on let me zoom and zoom okay uh, yes. right behind me up there that building you see is uh, the Orthodox Academy. Okay, let me quickly give you a backstory about this Orthodox Academy before we jump into the wonders of nature and what this country has to offer if you are a tourist looking to visit Greece. Okay, back to the Orthodox Academy. All right, so this Orthodox Academy is at Kolibari in the island of Crete. Now, Greece have so many islands, I've said that before, and Crete is the biggest of them all. All right, some people call it Crete, some other people call it Crete, both correct pronounced differently all right so that orthodox academy they have the church also the orthodox church close to it but when i zoomed in you could only see the academy now when they hold these their big meetings just like when the muslim people they have to travel to mecca and all of that and you know christians they have to go to israel you know all do all those stuff the greek orthodox they are uh, some of the people that make some of the big decisions so some of the big meetings that they hold you know just as we want to chill with the big boys <laughs> so we're talking about the high-ranked priests the high-ranked uh, people like that when they hold these their meetings some of them are held in that building that I just showed you and when they hold these meetings when you see them coming you will know that these are top-notch people that makes decision in the Christian community world wide okay they travel from different parts of the world they all come to that place and do their meetings and when they do that none of the even the fishing boats are not allowed to go so close to that area to drop nets high security they put them in five-star hotels and you, when you see them going there in tinted cars and you see very you just know that uh some high class people are around now the first year i saw this they were I was not a YouTuber then, so I wasn't able to film. And I know some people always ask, like, what, what do they dress like? What do they look like? 
uh, I hope when they will hold one of these meetings, I will be able to film them when they are passing, either when they are going to the academy or when they are bringing them back from the academy to their hotel. Okay? All right. That being said, let's jump back in. Right here, you can see that I'm showing you the academy. It's a very big building and they come. There are so many of them when they are in Greece. There are so, so many priests from different ages, pastors all around the world, and they come to hold their meetings. Anyways, back to wonders of nature and uh, what Greece has to offer when you talk about tourism. Now, Greece is a beautiful, beautiful country with fantastic weather, okay? One of the best in Europe because they have so good weather that if you're someone that you don't want to be in the cold all year round, you can visit Greece and you have that option even though you're in Greece during winter seasons. You have the parts of Greece where you go, you still get sun. Like on this day, this is a good example. That's why I wanted to film this video. You can see me. I'm not dressed too heavy like it's winter, you know? But then, at the same time, you will see me inserting some clips that shows you the level of the snow that we have in Greece. So, for example, now this video now, I shot this video at the southern part of Greece. And then the other video, the short clip that you saw me inserting, like here, is the northern part of Greece. Can you really believe these two photos you're looking at? Look the amount of snow and how wide it is. Now, when I, I, I was swimming this, I forgot to intact the clip of um, the ski resort where you see people skiing. So you can actually do that also if you want to visit Greece in winter. There are also other fun stops that you can take part in. Now this spot, looking at the spot right now, it is kind of empty. That's how most of the pots look in winter. Trust me, when it's summertime, I will come back here and film another video and you see the difference and you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so in winter time, you see mostly fishing boats here. And some of the boats, they've already uh, removed them from the water. You know, some people remove their boats in winter time and put it back in summertime. So you mostly see the fishermen and their boats during winter season because they walk, that's when they walk more. Okay, so here you see this big boat. The owner of this boat actually owns a restaurant and he serves seafood. But the good thing about this is he goes to fish for his seafood and brings them to his restaurant. So whatever you're eating is fresh and maybe caught that day or the day before and stored in the fish tank and all of that. So you go, when you enter, walk into the restaurant, you can see all of that. Another beauty about this spot of Kolibare is you can see small hotels lined up, or should I call them apartments, okay? I didn't go too close, so you'll not be able to see behind these ones. You see bigger hotels and all of that. But if you want to have this view of the port, and maybe you're someone that loves to go for a walk, even when you're on holidays, some people just love to rent these apartments that are lined up. And along this line, you can also see the um, restaurants. So you can just sit there, have a cup of coffee, and just watch how the fishermen are walking, and people that have their boats. And also, the very rich people in Europe, you know, those people that love to travel, travel on their big boats you know they bring their boats during summer period they sail from different parts of Europe and arrive in Greece they dock and they just enjoy themselves some of them come on land some of them just do everything on their boat because you know some of these big boats they have everything inside you know beds places to party and everything so in summertime you will see even bigger boats here but now just few of fishing boats uh, cruise boats and um, stuff like that. They also have like fishing boats that they can take you for a uh, fishing trip as a tourist, if that's something you want to do when you are in the country. So there is just tons of stuff to do. And the beautiful part of it is, it doesn't matter the season you visit, you will always find something fun to do. All you need to do is just do your research, pick what part of the country you want to go depending on the season for example if you want to visit like your ski resorts and places where they have heavy amounts of snow and they have all these um, cabins on the mountain where you can go and rent and you just come out and in front of your door you have the snow you can go skiing you can go playing with your family with snow and all of that and just walk into one of those uh, small shops where they sell traditional food and coffee you know and different types of drink but yeah when it's cold 
uh, it's time to drink more coffee so hence i'm saying coffee a whole lot but it's just so beautiful uh you can do that also but if you don't want to go to the parts that are so cold and you visit areas like these you also have fun stuff to do and you can also feel like you are in uh, spring because some of the days you have full sun even though it's very windy and cold but you have sun and it's like a sunny day you can go out you feel uh, alive you know, uh, and all of that you know because the winter season is kind of a dull season so yeah everything is just kind of uh, uh, cool and relaxed so I just want to take you people on a tour so I can show you how it is here in Greece. So for example, I can film a video and post it and you're like, oh, you people don't have snow. And some other person will also film a video, post it and you see tons and tons of snow and you, and you ask yourself, I thought both of these people are in the same country. Yes, we might be in the same country, but we have totally different weather. So if you are around this part of uh, Crete, which is the southern part, then you really have to go up on the mountains. Here you can see some mountains around here, but they have like higher ones, higher summits. You can go to the higher mountains, there you will see the snows, and that's where you get cabins. If you want to stay overnight, you can rent a room up there. You know, they have all these wooden buildings, you know, not... not um, like uh, stones and all of that or wood you know from down till top everything is wood and all of that so you get those cabin you rent and all of that here you can see a fishing boat they can, they can take you out to sea just for you to enjoy that fishing trip and all of that okay so that's what we do for those of us living in this part of Greece. You have to go up on the mountains, places like Omalos, where you see the snow. But down in these areas, it hardly snows. It hardly snows. Like it's almost like once in a great moon, you can see few drops of snow when the weather is extremely bad. But what we get a lot during winter in this area is um, the this big stones what they call it ice these ice balls these big ice balls when the weather is very bad you know <laughs> you come out in the morning and your balconies are all full with these giant uh stone balls and you have to scoop and clear it up so the water can flow we get that a lot but we don't get so much snow we just get few snow and you just see the kids running around and all of that so let me know in the comment section what you think about this beautiful country. Are you looking to visit Greece? Is there something you want me to talk about? Is there something you want to know about the Greeks? Uh, is there something you want to know if you are planning to visit Greece? Do you have like uh, stops in mind or things you've heard about Greece and uh, you want to know what areas you can find those things i will let you know they have so many islands for example they have the santorini which is very popular that is you know you have the white and blue um, buildings and the streets and all of that i will insert a photo of santorini a, a short video also of santorini for you people to see here they have same with Mykonos you know Santorini is like a small island and it's on a mountain like on a cliff and you look at the buildings it's almost like they're gonna drop they're gonna fall off the cliff you know and every building is painted in white and blue that's how Greece used to be many years ago but slowly they are changing like what you see here you see the brown uh, colors they are beginning to add those if not everywhere in Greece their buildings and the windows are always painted blue and the buildings are always painted white but well, because of the wet and the dust and all those other things some of them just choose this brown color as to you know hide all of that so let me know what you think about this uh, video of the southern part of Greece you see it's a sunny day I'm walking I'm dressed light and at the same time you can see the northern part of Greece and it's full of snow the road is covered the trees are covered in white and everything let me know if you enjoy my vlogs don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be able to enjoy the stops and also I have a playlist called the island lifestyle so if you're not here for the workout then 
go on that playlist i have over 30 videos there different vlogs and all of that go enjoy it and let me know what you want to see next trust me i will film it and i will bring it to you okay also don't forget to share the video if you think this is something that someone you know might enjoy i keep it raw as i can you know not too much editing cutting out mistakes or one thing one thing i just want you to see the country firsthand and see the beauty so if you're visiting you know that yes when you get here you're like okay what i saw on that video it's real oh, oh.